Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all, let us find the present value of perpetual annuity. Now, a perpetuity is an annuity whose payments being on a fixed date and continue forever. So, we can find out the present value of a perpetuity, but we cannot determine the future amount as the future extends to infinity. Now, in case of a present value of an annuity immediate P is equal to A upon I into 1 minus 1 plus I O raised to power minus N and this complete whole. Now, if N tends to infinity, then we have a perpetuity that is forever. So, as N tends to infinity, 1 plus I whole raised to power minus N tends to 0. So, the present value is equal to A upon I into 1 minus 0 the whole, which is equal to A upon I. Therefore, the present worth for perpetual annuity is equal to A upon I. Now let us illustrate this with the help of an example. Now suppose an amount is deposited at 5% per annum so that it gives a return of $500 per annum in perpetuity Now we know that the present worth for a perpetual annuity that is P is equal to A upon I Now P is equal to A upon I implies now, A is also given to us and we know that I is equal to R upon 100. So, using these values, that is, the rate of interest is given as 5% per annum. So, P will be equal to 500 upon I which is equal to R upon 100, that is 5 upon 100. So this will be 500 over 5 into 100, which is equal to $10,000. Thus, an investment of $10,000 gives an interest of 10,000 into 0.05 that is $500 for the first year. Now after giving back this interest to the individual, again $10,000 remain as it is, giving an interest of $500 next year and again leaving $10,000. And this will continue on and on. And the deposit of $10,000 will remain intact. Now let us find the present value of a deferred annuity. Now suppose the deferred annuity 
begins at the end of B years and is to continue for Q years Now since the energy begins at the end of P years, that is this period from 0 to P is called the interval of definite and since the energy begins at the end of P years, the first installment is due at the end of P plus 1 years and the second installment is due at the end of P plus 2 years and so on. Now here the present value of A at the end of P plus 1, the whole years, is A upon 1 plus I whole raised to power P plus 1. That is, by using this result, we have got the present value of A at the end of P plus 1, the whole years, as a upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus 1. Now the present value of a at the end of p plus 2 the whole years is a upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus 2. Therefore the present value capital P of all installments is equal to A upon 1 plus I whole raised to power P plus 1 plus A upon 1 plus I whole raised to power P plus 2 plus so on up to plus A upon 1 plus I whole raised to power P plus Q and this is a geometric progression. Now in a geometric progression the sum of n terms that is Sn is given by the formula A into 1 minus r raised to power n, the whole, whole upon 1 minus r when r is less than 1. And for the given geometric progression, r is equal to 1 upon 1 plus i. So using the formula, this is equal to a upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus 1 into 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power q whole upon 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus i the whole and this complete whole and this is equal to a upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus 1 into 1 plus i the whole whole upon i into 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power q and this complete whole and this is equal to a upon i into 1 plus i the whole whole upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus 1 into 
1 plus i whole raised to power q minus 1 well upon 1 plus i whole raised to power q and this complete whole. Now this is equal to a upon i into 1 plus i whole raised to power 1 minus p minus 1 whole upon 1 plus i whole raised to power q into 1 plus i whole raised to power q minus 1 and this complete whole. And on solving this is equal to a upon i into 1 plus i whole raised to power q minus 1 and this complete whole. Whole upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus q. So this is the present value capital P of all my installments also the above formula can be expressed as capital P is equal to A upon I into 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p minus 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus q and this complete whole which is further equal to a upon i into 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p plus q this complete whole minus of 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus i whole raised to power p the whole and this complete whole that is the present value capital P of all installments is equal to the present value of an immediate annuity for P plus Q years minus the present value of an immediate annuity to continue for P years. Also, the future amount Capital A is equal to A into 1 plus I whole raised to power Q minus 1 plus A into 1 plus I whole raised to power Q minus 2 plus so on up to plus A into 1 plus I the whole plus A. Now further on summing up this geometric progression we get capital A is equal to A upon I into 1 plus I whole raised to power Q minus 1 and this complete whole. Now this formula for the amount of a definite annuity is same as that for ordinary annuity. So in this session you have learnt about the present value of perpetual annuity and the present value of deferred annuity. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.